Is this a hit or a miss? The Louis Vuitton Demi Azure in the Nautical Collection. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm checking out Louis Vuitton, in particular the Damier Azero Nautical Collection that just came out in February 2023 this year. Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It will really mean a lot. Thank you so much for considering. So on with the video. So this new Nautical collection came out February 2023. I love how it's very soft and feminine. So today I want to go over all the different handbags and the different SLGs they have available in this new print. It's a limited edition print by Louis Vuitton. So let's get started. Now, if you look closely, it is just a regular Demi Azure print on the background with this like rope and chain design on the front that's screen printed onto the canvas featuring this like five different colors. Most prominently, you can see like the gold metallic highlights that are shown throughout. Like it feels very resort like, very summer vibe. And then I think that this limited edition print has the textile interior that you'll see and i'll show you shortly on the inside that makes it a little bit more special than what you would normally see so it comes in a couple of different like prominent bags that are so iconic for louis vuitton including the neverfull mm here this one's priced at three thousand dollars what do you guys think is this a hit or a miss personally i feel like this is a total hit i can see people flocking to the stores to get a hold of this really popular limited edition bag and now just like giving you a better focus on the inside of the bag i actually really like the fabric lining and the design on it it's just too bad that the little pouch inside is not like imprinted with the design that's so screen on as well just a little bit disappointed by that but other than that i think it gives like a great summer vibe i can see this being a really hard item to pick up um like a couple years from now but right now actually it's available to place in cart as i'm looking at the website right now so for this never full mm if you compare that to a regular never full mm so this is the regular never full mm is two thousand five hundred eighty dollars so would you pay the extra three hundred twenty dollars for this special limited edition collection with the golden highlights I think we'll have to see. Let's have a look at some of the other collections because I think the print looks very different depending on the type of bag that goes on, like this new Neo Noe in the MM. It's priced at $3,000. I think it gives like the bag a whole different vibe with this new screen printed on it. I think it looks okay on the Neo Noe itself. I think it's actually quite pretty. Whereas if you just get a regular Neo Noe MM, it's $2,580. Again, around $320 or $400 difference Canadian. If you were to get the monogram version, as opposed to the limited edition collection from the not a collection that you see that just got released this year. They also have it in the Speedy 25, which Speedy itself is such an iconic bag for Louis Vuitton. I knew that it was gonna be in a, on a speedy if this print was gonna come out, but it's just a matter of which speedy. But I'm not really surprised by the speedy 25 bandolier, given it is one of the more popular handbags with Louis Vuitton. This one's priced at two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Also available to place in cart. Is that not tempting? If you look at the regular speedy bandolier 25, it's currently priced at two thousand three hundred thirty dollars. So it's around like a $400 difference after taxes or so. Still a very classic design. Next, I want to show you the Alma BB that is $2,670. Alma, I think one of the classics, but I don't think they always come out in limited edition prints for Alma. So it's really nice to see. I think that the Alma BB is really gaining in popularity over the years compared to prior. So it's kind of nice to see. I think it's like a 
nice dome shape that is very lady and elegant like i love how there's the option for a top handle and there's feet on the bottom of the bag so that's the alma bb this alma bb i want to show you in monogram is two thousand two hundred forty dollars if you want to compare the difference between that it's around a four hundred dollar difference i think for this one i i still like the alma specifically in the monogram or maybe just demi arsur rather than having the autica print on it i think it's really dependent on the bag for me there's also the felice pouchette that is priced at two thousand and sixty dollars i think felice pouchette is a totally underrated handbag within louis vuitton collection this one looks so pretty with the beautiful textile print on the inside one reason i think it's so underrated is like two additional like inserts on inside it's like three items in one when you purchase it so this one's two thousand and sixty dollars if you get it just in demi azure it's one thousand eight hundred ninety dollars so you can see the price difference is not as big for this felice pochette as opposed to a full body bag so this could be a good option if you're on a budget and is still really loving the demi azure not a collection and then they also have the pouchette on chain with a toiletry. So this one's priced at $2,250. This one I was a little surprised that they chose to add the nautical print too. But I know that the toiletry pouch on chain is pretty popular. But I don't know if it's as popular since they did the remake of it. If you look at a regular toiletry on chain, it's around $2,240. And this one is in the monogram version like a really classy bag i think i still like it on the original monogram as opposed to the not a collection i feel not a collection can be a little bit busy if you were to choose this for your print of choice but it's just a personal preference i think and then they also have some slgs including the zippy wallet that is one thousand two hundred ten dollars Again, I think the Zippy Wallet looks a little bit busy to me. Not my personal preference for print for a Zippy Wallet. A regular price Zippy Wallet, I think it looks a little bit more elegant, is $1,010. So a price difference around $190 or so. And then last but not least, I want to show you this last LSLG. It's the Victorian Wallet is currently priced at $840, is the most affordable item out of all the items that is from this collection so far. And if you look at a regular one, it's $705. Still liking the traditional Demi Azure. Maybe I'm just a little bit too old school and like too traditional, but I think that it looks nicer in this print for SLG. So this one's priced at $705. So what do you think about the nautical collection from Louis Vuitton? Is it a hit or a miss? I think it's nice to have a new look for some of these classical prints and canvas. I don't think it's a right cup of tea for everyone. I do think that Demi Azure is very beautiful on its own. Some people do describe this new print as being a little bit gaudy maybe a print. Definitely not for everyone. Gives me a bit of a spring and summer vibe. So I think these colors will work great for those seasons. But I'm not sure if it translates as well to the winter time. Uh, I do see this print being super popular. So if you're interested in getting one of these bags, I would hop onto the website and try to add it to cart ASAP. I do love how there's a beautiful different like interior fabric lining. Just add that nice touch i love how louis tom pay attention to the inside and the outside of the bag at first i thought that the print itself was a little bit more maybe too old ladyish, but i must say it's really growing on me and i'm having second thoughts about it i do see this limited edition print being a little bit harder to find a couple years from now but i love how it is something different from the typical classic demier and it retains a touch of class. What do you guys think? Are you caught off guard by this new collection? Do you find that it is a beautiful collection that is worth the price point? At the end of the day, I think it really depends on each of our styles and preferences. And like I showed you so far, I think I have personal preference for this particular 
article collection in certain types of handbags and SLGs. I don't think it works for all of them. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about how the denim and like darker colors may potentially transfer to the demi -usur, but this is something I would expect normally for any light color bags anyways, regardless if it is from the Nada collection. I know some people comment it gives like old Versace vibe for the bag, which I can totally see as well. Is it for everyone? Definitely not. But is it for you? I would like to know. Feel free to add in the comments below and I would love to hear from you. Well, with that said, thank you so much for joining me on this video and checking out the Nautical Collection from Louis Vuitton. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.